Sometimes, even if we try to prevent tick bites, we get one anyway. If you get bitten by a tick, there's a very simple yet specific process for tick removal to reduce your risk of pathogen transmission. To properly remove a tick, Grasp the tick as close to the skin as possible with a pair of fine tip tweezers or forceps. Then gently and slowly pull straight up. Why do we grasp as close to the skin as possible? Well, while you may have heard to not leave the head of the tick in your skin, ticks don't actually have heads. Some ticks don't even have eyes, but the ones that do, like this Lone Star tick, have eyes here on what we would think of as the body. This body portion of the tick is where the salivary glands and gut of the tick are. Inside here are potential pathogens. If you were to squeeze the tick on the body region instead of close to the skin where the mouth parts are biting, the tick may actually regurgitate into your body, potentially increasing the risk of pathogens being transferred into you. Other methods that have been proposed to remove ticks are by using a lit match, cold, or other products or chemicals like nail polish remover and petroleum jelly. But like squeezing, the use of these methods may make the tick try to desperately remove itself from the area, again potentially releasing pathogens into your body. Remember, the goal is to remove the tick and stay healthy. Because of the risk of pathogen transfer, it is not recommended to use methods to try and quickly force a tick to detach on its own. After removing the tick with forceps or tweezers, you can safely dispose of the tick by putting it in alcohol, placing it in a sealed bag or container, wrapping it tightly in tape, or flushing it down the toilet. Alternatively, you can save it in a plastic storage bag in the freezer. By keeping the tick, you have the option of getting the tick tested for pathogens. Whether or not you feel sick after the bite, you can send the tick to be tested to a laboratory that specializes in tick pathogen identification. Keep in mind that just because a tick comes back positive doesn't mean you'll get sick. And ticks with negative tests don't necessarily mean you won't get sick. These diagnostic tests are meant to be informative but are not guarantees. If you are concerned about a tick bite, it's important to talk with your doctor. To make it easy to remove a tick quickly, keep a tick removal kit in your first aid kits in your home, car, or other important areas like camping gear or sports bags. Tick removal kits can include band-aids, gloves, a plastic storage baggie to store ticks, a small mirror, antiseptic wipes, a tick ID card, a magnifying glass, and fine-tipped tweezers. Remember, simple is better when removing a tick to help keep you pathogen-free. Don't use folk remedies like heat, cold, or any products to remove a tick. Removal with a simple pair of sharp tweezers or forceps is the safest method. After the tick is removed, be sure to wash and monitor the area. And if you have any concerns about a tick bite, either before or after removal, please reach out to your doctor.